Bay County reports two murders in the first half of the year, both in Panama City Beach, stemming from the murder-suicide during Thunder Beach. Compare that to five murders this time last year. By department, Springfield and Parker saw huge drops in crime indexes, with Springfield down 33 percent and Parker down 17 percent. Are there less offenses because we've identified offenders that were committing those offenses and they're in jail and now they can't commit those offenses? The question always is, did others occur that we didn't get reported to us that we don't know about? Panama City Police Department reported a 97 clearance rate. But Chief Scott Irvin says factors like suspect death, victims dropping charges, or the time frame of the investigation all lead to the department clearing the case. It's not always an arrest. We may have had 100 cases from the previous year that were cleared within that time period that count in that overall. Here's how the Panhandle County stacked up for total crime offenses. All counties decreased their index. Most notable Calhoun County down 29 percent and Holmes down 34 percent. Walton County showed the highest decrease of crime among the region, down 37 percent. Washington County also decreased 22 percent. Reporting in Panama City, Kirsten Mitchell, News 13. To see the full report and how the data is calculated, visit our website, mypanhandle.com. Nearly two dozen guns have been stolen and are still unaccounted for. Each of these stolen weapons have one thing in common, and the Walton County Sheriff's Office needs your help in solving the case. Walton County investigators say 98% of their car burglaries with guns involved unlocked vehicles. Just this year alone, 23 firearms have been stolen and carelessly put into the hands of criminals. The thieves are mainly targeting areas in South Walton, like gated neighborhoods where the criminals know residents feel safe enough to not lock their vehicles. If we can have these criminals leave Walton County empty-handed, we're doing our job and we need the citizens' cooperation to do that. We just want um, we're not telling you that we don't want you to own a gun. We just want you to be responsible with it because chances are the people who are stealing these guns are not going to be responsible with them. On the Walton County Sheriff's Office is pushing a 9 p.m. routine as a daily reminder to hide your weapons in a safe place and lock your car doors each night and take the keys. If you know anything about the recent burglaries, contact the Walton County Sheriff's Office.